Hawaii is a hub for human trafficking because of our location as the crossroads of the Pacific. Young women are brought in from all over the world to work in the sex trade. Some come here as meal order brides or domestic servants. Teenage girls are even targeted by pimps in local shopping malls. Men from countries with struggling economies are also recruited to work on farms and fishing boats for little pay. After paying thousands of dollars to recruiters, abandoned victims can be found washing dishes in restaurants or doing construction and landscaping jobs for cash under the table. They can barely survive on what they make. Many are separated from their families for years, unable to return home. In short, human trafficking is a form of modern day slavery. So what can we do about it? The first thing is to recognize the signs. Does the person appear to be under someone else's control? Do they lack control over their personal schedule, money, or identification documents? Is there evidence of bruises or physical abuse? Does the person seem fearful or afraid to speak freely? Are they under 18 and hanging around adult places? Here are some questions you can ask. What type of work do you do? Are you being paid? Can you leave your job if you want to? Have you or your family been threatened? What are your working and living conditions like? Do you owe money to someone for arranging a job? Has your identification documents or passport been taken from you? It's not just the streets of Waikiki or Chinatown where sex trafficking occurs. Psychologist Judy Okawa says we should keep our eyes open for men who are preying on young girls at places like shopping malls. Locally in Hawaii, what I find of grave concern is the fact that these recruiters for trafficking are going to our shopping centers to recruit young girls to go into the sex trade. And what they do is they sit, there are a lot of tiers of traffickers. And on the first tier is a handsome young man who will go to the shopping center and find some girls that are hanging out. And he'll befriend a girl, and he'll learn everything about her, and pretend to be her boyfriend. So he'll ask her, you know, oh, tell me all about you. You're so beautiful. And, you know, let's hang out and, and flatter her. You know, you're so pretty. You could be a model. Wow. And eventually, he'll know everything about her vulnerabilities, you know, how she really needs love and he's going to give it to her and how her mom is mad at her and how she doesn't like school. And then this uh, young girl will find herself in a position where eventually this man will say, you know, there's this great job I could take you to down in Waikiki. You know, you could make a lot of money. You want to go with me? and she will go with him and he will then literally hand her over to the next tier of trafficker and at that point it's all over for her because she will be shut in a room and the punishment will begin and she will she will be then trained how to be a prostitute with no chance of escape because then the threats begin you know, we're going to kill your mama. We know you live on that street on Kailua Road. And she's lost this boyfriend. He took his recruiting fee at the door for bringing her in. And nobody knows where she is. And essentially what the parents think is she's a runaway. And that's what the police think too. So nobody really looks that hard for her, especially after a long time has elapsed. And this poor child is then really trapped. Victims of sex trafficking may have urinary tract infections, kidney problems, or untreated STDs. They may have scars and bruises from physical beatings. Kids who are exploited often have severe psychological problems such as post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, and panic attacks. If you see or hear anything that seems suspicious, do not attempt to rescue the person yourself. You could put yourself and the victim in danger. The best thing to do is call the Pacific Gateway Center or national hotline number on the 808halt.com website. Please just don't walk away and wonder if you could have done more. There are many victims who need our help and they're afraid or unsure what to do. 
Human trafficking is modern day slavery. We all have a duty to respond.